What's going on, beautiful people? Welcome back to Craniac Gaming. We are back with the Baltimore State Dynasty here on NCAA Football 14. And it's opening weekend, folks. Year 8 of the Dynasty. And Baltimore State is looking to bounce back after a rough season last year where they finished 5-7. and seven. And to open up this year, they take on the 7th-ranked Minnesota Golden Gophers, who are led by former Baltimore State quarterback Fred Kane. Kane is a Minnesota native who transferred to Minnesota after the sanctions levied against Baltimore State before last season. He threw for over 2,800 yards, 30 touchdowns, and just two interceptions last season, while also rushing for 635 yards and 10 touchdowns. While he wasn't a Heisman finalist, he is a candidate for the Heisman this year, and he hopes to finish out his college career with yet another national championship victory. So here we go, the opening kickoff of the first game of the season. We are underway. Roman Sender going to return this one out of the end zone. Takes it up the right side of the field. Past the 30, and he gets up to about the 33-yard line before he's pushed out of bounds. So now Baltimore State gets to work. First and 10, Julius Hobbs getting the start for Baltimore State. Throws over the middle, and he finds Damian Rutledge, who gets up to the 50-yard line. And it's a new set of downs. Now first and 10. Sender getting his first carry of the season, and he's going to pick up about five yards on the play. So now second and five, Colin Mentor checks into the game. Hobbs drops back, and he throws over the middle, finds Rutledge, and he picks up the first down. And you'll notice that Baltimore State not running the run and shoot offense anymore. They're running a more traditional style of offense. As Sender able to pick up about nine yards on second and nine, just shy of the first down marker. That's going to bring up a third in inches. Hobbs going to hand it off to Hobart, and Zach Hobart shut down in the backfield. He loses a few yards on the play, and that'll set up Roger Holloway for the field goal. Kick is on the way, and it's good. Baltimore State with an early 3-0 lead. And now out comes Fred Kane, the former Baltimore State quarterback, now in his senior year at Minnesota. We'll see what he does in his first game against his former team. First and 10, Kane on the read option. He keeps it himself up the right sideline. He's going to break a tackle, and he gets into Baltimore State territory with a 26-yard gain as everybody is just completely fooled on that play. And Kane already making a big impact. So now first and 10 from the 49-yard line. Kane and the pistol are going to hand it off to Jeremy Black. He breaks a tackle, and Black able to pick up about eight yards in the play. That's going to lead to a second and two. Kane on the play fake this time, under pressure. He's going to scramble again, breaks a tackle, and he's going to get hit hard at about the 31-yard line, a gain of 10, and a new set of downs for the Gophers, now first and 10. Kane going to hand it off to J.R. Smith. Smith breaks a tackle, Smith into the open field, and he's going to get into the end zone for the Minnesota touchdown. A 30-yard run on the jet sweep, and the Golden Gophers take a 7-3 lead. Now here's the ensuing kickoff. Baltimore State looking to respond. Brady James on the return this time. He's going to take it out of the end zone. Gets past the 20. He has plenty of green in front of him. Past the 40, and he's brought down at about the 47-yard line. A 50-yard return by Brady James. So now first and 10, Hobbs on the play fake. He's going to be brought down immediately. Justin Sark's in there for the sack, and now it's going to lead to a third and 15. Hobbs going to throw over the middle, and Dustin Scott couldn't hold on to it. Incomplete. So the Stallions go three and out, and out comes William Morris. Here's the punt, and a hell of a punt by Morris. That's going to bounce and go out of bounds at the one-yard line. That's what my boy Walter would call a what a punt. So now Minnesota with the ball at the one-yard line. Hand off to Black. Black going to go right up the middle, and he picks up about 11 on the play. And a big first down to get the Gophers out of the shadow of their own goalpost. But now they face a third and nine. Kane under pressure. He's brought down immediately. Chadwick Passmore getting to him. And the Gophers will punt it away. So now Baltimore State starts out in Minnesota territory on third and ten now. And Kane going to be intercepted by Palmer. Palmer up the right sideline up to about the 39-yard line. And just an awful throw by Kane. Or at least an awful decision there. And now Minnesota takes over, third and eight with a minute to go in the quarter. And Kane going to find Jeremy Black, who's able to find the seam and picks up 15 yards and a first down. Now second and three, hand off to Black on the read option. Black into the open field, plenty of green in front of him, breaks a few tackles, and he's going to get into the end zone. Touchdown, Gophers. It's a 39-yard run for Jeremy Black. 
and Minnesota with a 14-3 lead as we enter the second quarter. Hobbs going to drop back on second and six. Hobbs rolls to his right under pressure, and he's going to run for the first down and more, and then slides at about the 47-yard line. So Hobbs turns the disaster into a first down for the Stallions on second and eight. Over the middle to Damian Rutledge, who's going to get into Minnesota territory. 12-yard gain. Gets the first down for Baltimore State, not first and ten. Hobbs going to throw right side to a wide open Zach Hobart. Hobart takes a big hit, gains about eight in the play. So now second and two, Hobbs going to drop back. He's going to let it fly, and as he throws, and he finds Zach Hobart in the end zone, who makes a diving grab for the Baltimore State touchdown. And a hell of a throw by Julius Hobbs, who was under pressure, but he was able to get the ball away right before he got hit. And Hobart makes a hell of a grab for the touchdown. And it's once again a one-possession lead. So now 6.22 left in the second quarter. It's 14-10. to 10. Here's a handoff to Black. He's going to pick up about four yards on the play. It's going to lead to a second and six. And now a flag on the play as Quadarius Friday just jumped the snap count right into the center. So that's going to make it second and one now. And a handoff up the middle to Armstrong. He's going to pick up the first down. Again, a three on the play. And now Minnesota... First and 10 from the 37 to hand off to Black. Black going to get caught from behind by a diving Tank Evans. Loses a yard in the play. That leads to a second and 11. Hand off up the middle. Black going to take a big hit this time. Loses another yard. This time Evans again making the stop. Now third and 12. Kane with plenty of time to throw. Just checks down to Black. And he takes a big hit from Bailey Barba. Only picks up six yards on the play. And Minnesota will punt it away. So here's the kick. Roman Cinder back to return this one. He's going to take it from about the 17-yard line. Cinder to the left side. Gets a few blocks. Has plenty of room in front of him. He's going to get past the 50 up to about the 46-yard line. And that's going to be good for a 35-yard return. And now Baltimore State has a chance to take the lead. But third and 10 now. Hobbs going to throw right side. And that should have been intercepted by Earl Wilson. But it falls to the turf incomplete. And now Baltimore State will punt it away. So now first and ten from the nine. Here's Minnesota as Black gets the carry. Breaks a tackle, and he's going to get up to about the 20-yard line. That's good for a 13-yard gain and a first down. So now first and ten. Kane on the draw to Black, and Black gets stuck behind his offensive line. He's going to lose three yards on the play. That's going to lead to a second and 13 now. Just over three minutes to go. Kane going to try to scramble. He has space in front of him. Runs over a defender, and he's able to pick up the first down. A 16-yard run in the play, and that's going to lead to a new set of downs. Now, first and 10, handoff to Black. Black going to get corralled behind the line of scrimmage once again. This time, Alex Ace making the stop. That's a three-yard loss for the Gophers. Now, second and 13. Kane gets it away right before he's hit, and Trey Armstrong going to lose six yards in the play. That's going to make it a damn near impossible third and 18. They're going to run a screen pass this time. Black going to cough up the football after the big hit. But it's recovered by an offensive lineman. So now Minnesota again will have to punt it away with two minutes to go in the half. And again, Roman Cinder back to return this one. Cinder finds a seam into Minnesota territory again. And he's going to be brought down at about the 38-yard line. Another big return by Cinder. This time a 22-yarder. And now Baltimore State has a chance to take the lead once again. First and 10. Colin Mentor going to pick up five yards on the play. That's going to lead to a second and five. Hobbs in the shotgun this time. Cinder checks in. Hobbs going to keep it on the read option. He's going to try to get outside, trying to get out of bounds, but he's brought down before he gets out of bounds. Does pick up the first down, however, but the clock is still rolling now. First and ten. Hobbs going to roll to his left. And he's going to try to run for the first down, and he does so successfully, and this time he gets out of bounds. Gets up to about the 14-yard line. So now, first and 10, Hobbs going to check down to Hobart. Hobart picks up about eight yards on the play. The clock continues to run, however. Now we're down to just over 30 seconds, second and two. Hobbs going to throw to the end zone. Finds a wide open Jalen Morrison in the corner of the end zone for the touchdown. And the booth would review the play, but as you're going to see, this was just an amazing grab by Morrison. That would have probably been good in the NFL as he gets 
both feet in bounds, pretty much tiptoes, and at least drags the right foot in. All you need is one in college. And the play would stand as called. So Baltimore State with a 17 to 14 lead. Minnesota still has time to at least tie the ball game up. Now second and 13, Kane gonna try to scramble, and he's gonna be brought down for the sack. Tank Evans able to get to him, and Fred Kane is actually injured on the play. That would be a tough break for Minnesota if he couldn't come back. Now, junior Kenneth Dotson checks in for Kane, and on his first pass of the game, he is intercepted by Roman Sender, who's playing both sides of the ball. Just able to get that foot in bounds, and that is a huge pick. And with 14 seconds to go, Baltimore State might have a chance to possibly make this a two-score game, first and ten. Hobbs lets it fly, looking to Morrison, and Morrison with a hell of a grab up to about the 22-yard line. Baltimore State uses their final timeout of the half. Now with eight seconds to go, they just got to take a shot here. Hobbs looking for Morrison, and it's incomplete. Just offline, and now Roger Calloway will come out for another field goal, his second attempt of the game. Kick is away, and it's good. So Baltimore State heads into the half with a 20-14 lead over number seven Minnesota, looking to pull what would be a huge upset over the seventh-ranked Gophers. So before we get into the second half of this game, I just wanted to let you guys know that this Friday, June 26th at 9 p.m. Eastern, I'm going to be playing my semifinal game against Max Dremedy in the CFB Talk Daily tournament in NCAA Football 14. So if you guys want to check me out, you ain't got nothing else to do on your Friday night, come check me out. The link's going to be down below. As always, big shout out to Dee's Diabetes, who I played against last Saturday. He definitely gave me a hell of a first half. He was just a bit unlucky with a lot of turnovers in the second, but... The link to the VOD will be down below as well, so definitely go check that out when you get a chance. But come check me out on Friday, guys. So now we're into the second half, second and seven for the Gophers, as Dotson with the draw play. Black right up the middle, picks up the first down, up to about the 39-yard line. So Jeremy Black picking right back up where he left off in the first half. Now second and 10, here's Trey Armstrong up the middle. Armstrong breaks the tackle. Breaks another one, and he gets up to about the 46-yard line into Baltimore State Territory. Now, first and 10, here's Black. Bounces it outside and takes a big hit from Ace once again. Gains four this time now, second and six. Hand off to Armstrong, and sloppy tackling once again by Baltimore State's defense. And Armstrong inside the 25-yard line, a 19-yard gain in the play. That's going to lead to another first and 10 as Minnesota looks to take the lead back. And Black breaks a few tackles. He's going to get inside the 10-yard line up to the 9, a 13-yard gain, and Black now over 100 yards. Now first and 10, Black up the middle, and he's going to get caught from behind. This time Evans making the tackle. It's going to be a 6-yard gain. Now second and goal from the 3. Another handoff this time. Armstrong checks in. He's going to get into the end zone. And again, Baltimore State with very sloppy tackling on that entire drive. And uh, Minnesota takes the lead back with the extra point to make it 21-20. Now Colin Mentor getting some carries here as he picks up about seven on the play. As Cinder's just really tired from playing defense at this point. Now second and three, Hobbs with the play fake. Under pressure, and he runs right into a defensive end. He's going to lose 14 on the play. That's going to lead to a third and 17. Hobbs going to let it fly, and it's tipped away last second, incomplete. And Baltimore State really needed a response there, but instead they go three and out. So now Minnesota looking to run the ball even more. Here's Black again, breaks another tackle in the Baltimore State territory, up to about the 44-yard line. There's going to be a flag on the play. It's going to be a clipping call against Minnesota. So Baltimore State gets a very lucky break. David Munoz called for the clip. Now second and 10, they're going to run it with J.R. Smith again on the sweep. Remember, they scored their first touchdown of the game on that play, but instead they get 11 yards this time and the first down. So now first and 10 hand off to Black. He's going to get gobbled up in the backfield, loses three yards on the play. That's going to lead to a second and 13. Hand off to Black up the middle. Gets great blocking in front of him. He's going to get in the Baltimore State territory again, up to about the 40-yard line. That's going to lead to a second and eight. This time Dotson trying to run the speed option. And he loses three on the tackle by George Smith. Now third and ten. Dotson going to drop back. Looks right side. He's nearly intercepted by Ray Johnson. 
I can neither confirm nor deny that his middle name is William, by the way, but I can confirm that Minnesota is going to try for the field goal here, and they're going to miss it completely wide right. No good. Not even close. So now Baltimore State going to get pretty good field position now as they take over. First and 10 from about the 40-yard line. And here's a handoff to Mentor. Mentor gets outside. He's going to pick up a few yards, picks up about four in the play. And that's going to lead to a second and six. Hobbs going to drop back. Looking. Let's it fly over the middle. Finds Harris. He's going to pick up the first down. Gets about 10 in the play. And now Baltimore State in Minnesota territory once again. Now second and six. Hobbs steps up. Fires over the middle and he finds Dustin Scott. That was a lucky pass right there as that easily could have been picked off. But now a third and 11 for Hobbs and company. Throws over the middle and his luck runs out. He is intercepted by Kearney. But Kearney going to get tripped up at about the one yard line after the picks. And now Minnesota again in the shadow of their own goal posts here. And we'll see if they can get out of it. First and 10. And off the black, here comes Barba, and he's going to get the tackle in the end zone for the safety. And just like that, Baltimore State takes the lead back with the two points. And they get the ball back at about the 36-yard line. So now first and 10, hand off to Mentor. He gets a few blocks. Mentor up the right sideline into Minnesota territory up to about the 37-yard line, a 26-yard gain. We'll end the third quarter. So put them fours up in chat. It's 22-21. Now second and 10, Mentor going to get gobbled up in the backfield. And Colin Mentor is down. So with Cinder no longer taking snaps or running back and Mentor hurt now, Zach Hobart bumps from tight end to running back. And on third and 11, Hobbs just barely gets it away, incomplete. So now this will be about a 55-yarder for Roger Holloway. Kicks on the way, and it's good. It would have been good from about 60, it looks like. And now Baltimore State with a four-point lead, 25 to 21. So now first and 10, here's the throw to Munoz on the screen pass. He's able to pick up about seven on the play. Now second and three. And off to Black, up the right sideline again. Black breaks a tackle in the Baltimore State territory again to the 22-yard line. A 44-yard gain on the play. And once again, just sloppy tackling by Baltimore State. Just an arm tackle there from Ace, as you saw. Hall Miller overruns him and just falls over. So a rough play for Baltimore State now first and 10. Here's a pass to Smith. Smith able to pick up about eight yards on the play. That brings up a very manageable second and two. Dotson in the pistol. He's going to drop back. And he's looking to the end zone right side. And he finds J.R. Coles who makes the grab for the touchdown. And just like that, Minnesota gets the lead back with 6-12 remaining. And now Baltimore State will have to respond. It's 28-25. Howard with the carry. He's going to pick up about six on the play. That's going to make it second and four. Hobbs in the shotgun. Two receivers on either side. A roll to his right on third and four. And Hobbs going to run for the first down. And Hobart has a little bit of a lead blocker there. And he picks up 14 yards on the play. That extends the drive. Now third and nine. Hobbs in the shotgun. He'll drop back. Looking. Throws offside. Trying to thread the needle, but it's incomplete. Rutledge just couldn't hold on to it. And Baltimore State punts it away. So now Minnesota trying to put the ball game away here as Black going to get the carry. Picks up about seven yards on the play. That's going to lead to a third and one. And this is a critical third down here for both teams as Dotson runs the speed option, pitches it out to Black, and he's going to get brought down in the backfield by Ray. I don't know if his middle name is William Johnson. And with three minutes to go, Minnesota going to punt it away. Brady James back to return this one. James. Up the right sideline, plenty of space in front of him. This could be a huge return past the 30, and he's up to about the 27-yard line. A hell of a return for Brady James. And now first and 10. Hobbs over the middle finds Damian Rutledge. Rutledge going to pick up two yards on the play. That's going to lead to a second and eight. And Hobbs in the eye formation going to hand it off to Hobart. Hobart past the 20, past the 10, and he's going to be brought down to about the 6-yard line. A hell of a run by Zach Hobart. And now Baltimore State can at least get a field goal to tie it here. But they want the touchdown here, first and 10. Hobbs on the read option, going to keep it himself. Hobbs is going to get up to about the 2-yard line on a 3-yard run. That's going to lead to a second and 2. Hobart bumps back to tight end. Here's Will Henley. Henley. 
Able to pick up about a yard on the play. Time is winding down. Baltimore State trying to run it to the last few seconds of the game. Hobbs going to take it himself. Gets stopped short on the read option. And now it's a fourth and goal. Baltimore State thinking about going for it here. But maybe they're just trying to get Minnesota off sides as they burn a timeout. 17 seconds remaining. Baltimore State really going to go for it here. They want the win. Here's the toss out to Henley. Henley tries to get into the end zone. He's going to be stopped short. It's a turnover on downs with 13 seconds to go. What a stop by Minnesota, but they still got to get out of the shadow of their own goalposts here. First and 10 handoff to Black. Plenty of blocking, and Black able to bust free, and he's going to go all the way. A 99-yard touchdown run to end the game as Minnesota survives a big scare from Baltimore State. 35 to 25 would be your final in this one. And just look at Jeremy Black's final stat line. 284 yards and two touchdowns on 25 carries. And a heartbreaking loss for Baltimore State. It's easy to say in hindsight that I should have kicked the field goal there, but I was really trying to go for the win. And after a 5-7 and seven season last year, I really didn't feel like the team had a lot to lose by going for it in that situation. Sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't, and that time it didn't. Overall, I'm proud of how the team played in this game. I mean, there were a lot of different things that happened in this game that if we would have gone Baltimore State's way, then maybe the result would have been different. But that's football for you. I don't believe that one play really makes that big of a difference in the grand scheme of things. I feel like there are so many opportunities throughout a game to make game-changing plays and all that to where you can't really just put it on one play. I know a lot of people feel differently about that, but that's just how I look at football. That's how I look at life, you know. There are a lot of different things that you could have done to change the outcome of whatever, but, you know, sometimes it just doesn't go your way. We're going to have to see how Roman Sender fares with playing both sides of the football. I might just have to have him focus on just offense and not even have him on special teams or defense, obviously. I mean, at a certain point, he just got really tired, and then we saw a lot of Colin Mentor and Zach Hobart running the football. But I'd like to see what Sender can do with more carries. But overall, hats off to Minnesota on getting a big win. They didn't really have to throw a whole lot. I would like to see Fred Kane throw the ball a little bit more, but, you know, their running game was working so well, they didn't really have to throw it much at all. Looking at the top 25, not a lot has changed in the top 10. Alabama is still number one, Nebraska two. Florida State's number four. Minnesota's still at number seven, as most of the teams in the top 25 won their games that did have games in week one. And Baltimore State really has no time to lick their wounds as they take on Navy in the next game. Navy is ranked 17th in the nation and is always a threat to be a national championship contender. Can we stop that high-octane triple option offense? We'll have to see. Well, that's going to do it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you guys hit that like button. And for more franchise and dynasty content, hit that subscribe button and turn your notifications on to join the notification gang. That way you'll be notified every time I drop a video. If you do turn your notifications on and notice you're still not seeing my videos, make sure you guys join my Discord server or follow me on Twitch to be notified every time I drop a video. Be sure to go follow me on Twitch as well as I stream there from Monday to Friday. I have plenty of great things going on with Twitch, including a WWE 2K19 Call Universe, an NCAA Football 14 Dynasty, and a Super Mega Baseball 3 franchise. But that's all from me today, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. You guys have yourselves a wonderful rest of your day and night whenever you're watching this. Like I always say, guys, no matter what happens, make sure you keep that mofo rolling. I love y'all 3,000. I'm Audi 5,000. Deuces.